blessed Maven. Um, today is Maven. The sun is very much in my eye right now, but that's okay. Um, on the table here in front of me, I have herbs, finally, that I ordered. I didn't realize they were kind of rocky. I didn't realize that they would be coming from Lithuania, but they came from Lithuania. So um, I'm very excited about these herbs. Now, I have more herbs that I'm going to need for what I'm going to show you today. We're going to do um, a maven ritual and um, that you can do as a solo practitioner, whether or not you're out of your broom closet. Um, just if you're not out of the broom closet, you might need to modify a little bit by, I don't know, uh, waiting for people to not be around the house because it, the, the ho it's a purification type ritual and the house will get smoky. So I've got um, a whole bunch of different bundles, pre-made bundles. This is St. John's Wort. This one is Yarrow, which is one of the ones I'm going to use. This is uh, Common Absinthe. This one is Wormwood. And then this is the other one I'm going to use. This is Hyssop. Um, that I ordered. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it looks like it's an incense cone. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure which one that is, but uh, that's fine. It's perfectly okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to separate out um, these two bundles because I want to make my own bundle and I'm going to use the yarrow and the hyssop because both of those are part of the correspondence for maven. Um, hyssop is for uh, purification basically and uh, cleansing and yarrow is um, also kind of a cleansing type, but also it helps uh, promote harmony and healing and, and things like that. So that is what we're going to do. I have a very interesting kitty. I know. And this is the thrilling content I know you come to see, but I didn't actually prep anything for this video because it is maiden day and uh, I didn't want to didn't want to uh, delay getting this out to you so probably should have prepped this a little bit that's all right I'm probably just going to reuse this twine in the bundle that I put together. So when you're making your uh, cleansing sticks, your incense sticks, whatever you would like to call them, I try not to call them um, smudge sticks because smudging is actually a very sacred ritual that is performed by the Native Americans and um, I do not want to appropriate their rituals. Um, to my practice. So um, I don't really call it smudging, although other people do, and I mean, we all know what it is. But I just, I call it, I call it cleansing. Because that's usually my intention when I'm doing this. This uh, binding here is very, wrapped up into the uh, flowers here. Alright, I think I'm almost done with this thrilling content that I made come to this channel to watch. It has been a while 
since I have been able to do a witchy craft video for you, and uh, I'm excited that I get to share this with you because this is actually one of my favorite things, actually, favorite things to do. Um, now, I found it interesting that Yarrow was one of the uh, correspondences from Maven. Um, and it's true, it does promote he healing. I actually use Yarrow um, but, uh, in like making salves and such because it's a styptic, so it helps to stop bleeding. Um, I use it kind of in a way, as a way of making my own, um, making my own Neosporin, basically, um, very similarly. I'm getting stuff in my coffee. It's okay, it's just herbs. And the coffee is iced coffee anyway, so it's all good. All right. Now, I do have some dried lavender that I think I'm going to include in this, even though it is not necessarily a part of the correspondences for specific to Maven. Um, I like lavender and it does have some very uh, balancing qualities and uh, Maven, the celebration of Maven, is actually about bringing balance and harmony because this is the time when, this is the day I should say, when there is um, an equality between the sunlight and the darkness. There are equal hours in the day that are lit by the sun as not. So Maven is about establishing harmony and bringing balance into the home. And that is basically what we're going to do for the ritual, is we're going to set our intentions as we make our um, incense stick and uh, then we are going to talk about how to do a purification on your home and I will do a purification here just in this space that is on camera. So um, to show you how I do it, and I'm going to grab some of my um, lavender that's hanging up here on the door. drying lavender for another project too so <laughs> everything is awesome all right now I don't need this to be a huge stick because I'm just doing the purification I mean my incense sticks tend to last quite some time so dusty Tasty. All right, so I'm going to pull apart some of these. These were all dried together. It's quite obvious. And uh, you can see that the hyssop here has some has some little purple flowers. I don't know if you can actually see it or not. I have a cat right here. So I don't know if you can actually see that or not, but there's actually little purple flowers in there. So this is just going to be lovely. Um, we don't need that much of that. No, okay, we're just okay. All right. And again, I'm using hyssop and yarrow because these are part of the correspondences for Maven. Very dusty in my kitchen. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take some of this lavender and I'm going to cut this down because it's longer than it needs to be. Thrilling content. But 
this is actually something that you can make any time of year for any of the um, any of the sabbats that you want to celebrate uh, by doing a cleanse on your home or whatever. I highly recommend cleanses and cleansing rituals for um, Beltane and uh, Sewin simply because that's when um, the veil is thinned and if you are sensitive to things like that um, you might have you might have guests that you weren't anticipating so um, I do cleansing rituals at both of those particular sabots just for my own sanity cat's sanity um, because I do get a lot of travelers through, through here. All right, so not only is this going to uh, work as a protective and cleansing type bundle, type incense bundle, this also is just very pretty. As I was unbinding these, I noticed that um, there were no knots tied in this string on either of them, so we are not going to tie knots in this either. We are just going to bind everything together. And, uh, And when you burn this, um, the string that you use will burn as well. So you want to make sure that you're using a natural, a natural string for your for your binding. And there we have our bundle. All right, I'm gonna pause the video so I can clean up my mess. And then um, we'll be back and I will show you how to do the purification. So what I'm going to do, I have, my, I have my cauldron here because I like to set a lit uh, stick in here, although this stick is bigger than what my cauldron is. So the first thing you want to do is you want to set your intention. This is a maven ritual. It's about bringing balance and harmony. So you need to ground yourself and focus your thoughts and your intention into what you're going to be doing. So for me, grounding, grounding looks like this. You can do it however you want. I don't actually say anything. Um, but you can observe how I do it. You can do it in your way. It's all very personal. If you would like to cast a magic circle, now is the time to do so. I don't personally cast when I do cleanses. Again, I want to make sure I have my intention set and I want to transfer some of my energy to this incense stick, this cleansing stick. 
so that it is imbued with what I want it to do. For me, that looks something like this. stand up so you'll probably lose my head yep and basically what I do is I wave the incense because there's smoke involved and I want that smoke to envelop my space this is why I said if you were not out of the broom closet yet you may or may not be able to um, burn herbs or whatever um, at your house without detection. But uh, if people are into the scent of incense and such, then it's probably going to be okay. So if I want to purify this space, I circle my incense stick over the area. And in this case, this is for Maven. So I'm not really casting protection, I'm casting balance. So I say, please bring harmony, balance. I stick one out. That happens from time to time. Bring harmony, balance, and peace to this space. Amplify that. Which is in equity, in balance. Just as the sun and the moon are in balance this day, so is the energy space. And then you would go through each room of your house and use something similar to that statement about bringing peace or balance or harmony into your space. Um, you can then put this out if you want. Um, by using some water on it, or you can uh, just let it burn until it's done. Like I would set it in a, uh, a heat-proof cauldron or something like that. Um, however you wish to do it, but the idea is that this smoke that's coming off of this is cleansing the area and imbuing your area with your intended purposes. In this case, balance and harmony. Um, there's a lot of weird stuff in this house, so the hyssop is here as an added bonus for cleansing and, um, and a bit of protection. And for those of you extremely curious, uh, in my Christian faith, the Bible talks about using hyssop to, uh, to cleanse the heart, to cleanse the soul, um, there's a, a Bible verse that says, purge me with hyssop so that I may be white as snow. And it's basically a way to um, purify your energy and your heart and desires and things like that. So that's part of why I chose to use hyssop. Um, 
it is also, you know, obviously part of the correspondences for, for Maven. So, uh, it's a blending of my faith. Anyway, um, so I hope you found this video interesting, helpful, useful, whatever. I'm sorry that it's coming out on Maven. Um, I had to wait for these herbs to arrive. They were coming from Lithuania and uh, they got here pretty quickly, just not as quickly as what I was originally expecting because I didn't realize they were coming from Lithuania. But um, I'm going to go ahead and let this burn out, which actually I think it has. I'm just going to set that there. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Um, blessed be to you. Either way, leave me a comment. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like, what you'd like to see. If there is a particular ritual that you do that you would like me to explore to help others, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you ring the notification bell so that you know when these videos come out. Typically they come out Tuesdays, sometimes Thursdays, and usually well before <laughs> the actual Sabbat, but this was an unusual circumstance. So I want to thank you guys for watching and tuning in, and we'll see you next time. So, ooh, excuse me, so it is coming up in, uh, in a few weeks and we'll try to do something spectacular for that as well.